George, go ahead. Yeah, I want to go back to the uh, first year anniversary uh, and, and ask you if, if there's anything that's, that surprised you in the first year. And I'm thinking of a couple things that weren't being talked about. A year ago at inauguration, everybody was excited about vaccines. Now you have anti-vax groups. Uh, Trump was being impeached. Now he controls the opposition party. Uh, and there was no talk of inflation at the time of the uh, of, uh, a lot's yeah, happened in a year. Yeah. I would say, you know, actually, if we look back at data, around the time or shortly before the inauguration, only about a third of the American public was willing to get vaccinated. And now we're over 80 percent. So actually, that's an area where there has been an enormous amount of progress made. Uh, there has been some surprising components, including the fact that many people who were opposed to getting vaccinated, uh, we assumed that because it was uh, a vaccine that was approved, one of them at least, by under a Republican president, uh, that the FDA had given formal approval in September, and obviously given the dire impacts of the virus, that there wouldn't be as much vaccine hesitancy. Um, but that's one of the reasons that we took a number of the steps we did uh, over the course of the fall. Um, you know, I would say that, uh, of course, um, you know, you look back and there are uh, there are initiatives and uh, that the president has fought for that have historically not been partisan. And I don't know if that's a surprise, but voting rights is certainly an example of them. And as I've said a few times from here, there are 16 Republicans sitting in the Senate who have supported voting rights uh, protections in the past. So I'm not sure if that's surprising, uh, but that certainly is not a development in the right direction. Has he been surprised at the difficulty in bringing Republicans along to his views? Well, I think a lot of people are surprised 19 Republicans voted for the infrastructure bill and five or six voted in the House, in the Senate and five or six voted in the House. Uh, there are, there are again, initiatives and policies that have historically had bipartisan support, like voting rights, that have become, unfortunately, perceived as a partisan issue. Go ahead.